Hey guys, the examiners love starting papers with mass numbers and atomic numbers, but they are really, really easy to get confused. So here are some examples to help you with that problem. Now, if you like this video, if you want to get more problems like this, if you want harder problems, then you can pop over and get my book, which will help you out even more. When we're talking about mass number and atomic number, it does not matter about the position. Different examples, different countries have them in different locations, but it doesn't matter. The larger number equals the mass number and the smaller number is the atomic number. Now, I do not mean the font size, I do not mean the size of the letters, I mean the larger out of the two numbers. Now, here we have two numbers which are both the same. So here we have one and one for hydrogen. So hydrogen's mass equals one and its atomic number also equals one. Moving on to tin now. Now there are two numbers in this box. Remember, it doesn't matter the position, it doesn't matter the font size. We're looking for which one is the actual largest number. Now the largest number here is 119. So that means the mass of tin equals 119 and the atomic number of tin equals 50. Moving on to carbon now, two numbers, 12 and 6. The larger number of the two is the mass number, so that is 12, and the smaller number of the two is the atomic number, which is 6. Selenium here, again, two numbers in the box, 79 and 34. The larger number of the two, the mass number is 79, and the atomic number is 34. Iodine now, again two numbers, 127 and 53. The larger number of the two, the mass number is 127 and the atomic number equals 53. If you like these questions, if you want more questions like this and a whole range of different topics, I suggest you go and get my book, which is Maths, the Chemistry Bit for Science Students. It's available in book format, video format, or over in my classroom.